get ready. Chessington World of Adventures is a theme park in the UK, found about 25 kilometers southwest of London's city centre. It opened as a zoo in 1931, and later as a theme park in 1987. A lot has changed since then, and in this video we're going to talk about some of the defunct attractions in Chessington World of Adventures. While some rides like Vampire and Tiger Rock have been there since the early days, and Dragon's Fury and Zufari Ride into Africa have been added in more recent years, the park has outgrown some older attractions which have sadly been removed. Get ready! Number 6. Ramesses Revenge Ramesses Revenge was a Huss top spin attraction, and might be one of the most well-known defunct attractions in Chessington. Opening all the way back in 1995, the ride was one of the star attractions for Chessington and was used in a lot of promotional material. The flat ride would take guests up into the air on two robotic arms with the gondola swinging freely as the arms spun. It was the first top spin attraction to interact with water, with guests being lowered into water shooting up towards them before finally turning off before guests reach it. In November 2019, Ramesses Revenge closed after 24 years in operation and was removed from the park in early 2020. Croc Drop, a drop tower, now takes its place. Ripsaw in Alton Towers was similar to Ramses Revenge and was also removed, which you can hear about in our defunct Alton Towers video that's up in the corner right now. The ride type can still be found in operation in other theme parks around the world though, such as Talakin in Fantasialand and Blast in Wallaby Holland. Number 5. Hocus Pocus Hall This walkthrough attraction took place in the Burnstub Mansion. This house was built all the way back in 1348 and is a key architectural feature of Chessington World of Adventures. Hocus Pocus Hall was a 4D attraction taking you through the mansion itself. Guests will be greeted by a witch and a wizard, but their speech will be quickly hijacked by goblins who take you down into their dungeons. Your 3D glasses would bring scenes to life, and UV paint would line all of the walls. The walkthrough was almost like a dark ride, but without the ride, if that makes any sense. Guests would find interactive features along their route and would eventually reach a mirror maze which they'd have to make their way through in order to leave the mansion. In 2018, Hocus Pocus Hall would close and be rethemed to Room on the Broom, A Magical Journey, based on the children's books by Julia Donaldson. While we loved Hocus Pocus Hall, it's probably fair to say that the new attraction in its place is a big improvement. Room on the Broom follows the same path and has plenty of interactive elements, but with much stronger theming and animatronics. It also ties into a popular children's franchise which will appeal to younger guests. Number 4. The Fifth Dimension and Terror Tomb Where Tomb Blaster is today was home to two previous attractions, The Fifth Dimension and Terror Tomb. It opened as The Fifth Dimension when Chessington opened as a theme park in 1987. It's worth noting that the track system is still the same in use today. The Fifth Dimension was a dark ride that took you into a malfunctioning computer-generated alternate reality. It was hosted by Zapomatic, a troubleshooter robot trying to fix the alternative reality. After its first year, feedback was largely that guests were confused about what was going on on this ride. This led to a redesign with the story now following Zapomatic attempting to remove a virus called the Grog. This lasted until 1993. Frankly, the fifth dimension never fit in with Chessington's nature and adventure based theming. It was rethemed to Terror Tomb for the 1994 season. This refurbishment saw the track system kept, but an entire overhaul of the theme, with the ride now taking guests through a haunted tomb. The entire surrounding land was rethemed to the Forbidden Kingdom, and Terror Tomb was given new animatronics and special effects. Your corrupt tour guide would plot to steal treasure from the ancient Egyptian tomb but would ultimately be captured by mummies. The ride featured a very out of character rock and roll performance by the mummies at the end. The whole ride was quite adult themed, and while fitting in more with Chessington's theming, didn't quite fit in with Chessington's more child friendly brand. In 2001, Terror Tomb was rethemed to Tomb Blaster. This saw much of the scarier elements of the ride removed while keeping the overall sets and scenes. The ride became interactive and guests would be given guns and have targets to hit. This obviously helped Chessington in their move to be a more family friendly park. Given that much of the theming is still there, this is one of the defunct attractions in Chessington that we can still somewhat experience. Number 3. 
Peking Heights. Peking Heights was a Ferris wheel right in the middle of the park. This offered amazing views of the park all around you as you reached the top. You could even see London City from the top on a clear day. Located just beside Tiger Rock, then known as Dragon Falls, guests could get a great view of boats plunging down the drops nearby. Interestingly, the Ferris wheel initially opened in Thor Park in 2003 and lasted just a year before being moved to Chessington. It opened here in 2005 and remained until 2017, when the Mystic East area was re-themed to Land of the Tiger, and the area it occupied was used for a new Amor Tiger enclosure. While Peking Heights was beginning to look a little dated and old-fashioned towards the end of its run, we love a relaxing slow ride that can break up the more thrilling rides and perhaps offer something to do right after lunch or when you're looking to take a rest. We were disappointed to see it go in that regard. However, Safari Ride into Africa, which opened in 2013, definitely ticks that box too. Number 2. Black Buccaneer Black Buccaneer was a pirate ship ride that operated for 30 years in Chessington, from 1988 through to 2018. It was manufactured by Huss and was in the Pirate's Cove area of the park. It initially operated as Smuggler's Galleon for 10 years before becoming Black Buccaneer in 1998. It sat 45 riders and would swing guests up 90 degrees each way. It was known as one of the best pirate ship rides in the world. Towards the end of its time, the ride had to be regularly dismantled and refurbished, and continuous problems with flooding and motors eventually led to Chessington announcing in 2019 that it would not be rebuilt for that season. But fond of their pirate ship, Chessington announced in 2020 that a brand new pirate ship ride would open in its place. Blue Barnacle opened in 2021, manufactured by Metalbau ML. It is a very similar ride, sitting 42 riders and also swinging 90 degrees each way. Chessington would likely have kept Black Buccaneer if it were possible, as it's such a legacy attraction at this point, but Blue Barnacle offers a smoother ride and can ultimately offer guests a more reliable experience going forward. Number 1. Professor Burp's Bubble Works and Imperial Leather Bubble Works the final and most prolific of the defunct attractions in Chessington World of Adventures is Bubble Works. This ride operated as two different attractions, both under the Bubble Works name. It initially opened as Professor Burp's Bubble Works, where guests would tour Professor Burp's soda factory and see how he got the bubbles into the bottles. This opened in 1990 alongside Vampire and was designed by John Wardley. It quickly became a favourite amongst guests. After 15 years, the ride would undergo a re-theming in 2006. Entering a new sponsorship with soap brand Imperial Leather, the ride would keep the Bubble Works name, but take on a bath theme, bubbles now referring to suds rather than soda. Professor Burp and his soda making machines would be replaced with rubber ducks, shower heads and bathtubs. This was met with a lot of negative feedback, with some calling it a highly irritating advert for Imperial Leather. Nonetheless, this version ran for 10 years until 2016. It was then announced that the ride would be getting another re-theming, this time to The Gruffalo, a popular children's book. While this was also met with some negative feedback, we think it was probably a good idea to move on from the Imperial Leather version of Bubble Works. They knew that they had made a mistake with the ride in 2006, and a full re-theme was likely the best way to go, and for what it's worth, we think Gruffalo River Ride Adventure is a solid dark ride. Overall, it's hard to argue with many of the changes the park has made. Most changes have been made to better align the attractions with the type of park that Chessington wants to be, and all of the replacements seem to fit into a long-term plan and vision for the park. Chessington World of Adventures is far and away the best themed park in the UK, and so any ride in this park is in good hands in our opinion. If you enjoyed this video, we also made Attraction Graveyard episodes for Alton Towers and Thor Park that are on screen now. What are your thoughts on these defunct attractions? Do you miss them, or are you happy with the newer replacements? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. And now you're ready.